You have passed through life without an opponent, no one can ever know what you are capable of, not even you. Look back over the past, with its changing empires that rose and fell, and you can foresee the future too. Stoicism, in our day, is not strength to overcome wishes, but to hide them. The one who puts the finishing touches on their life each day is never short of time. Sometimes in life, we need a few bad days in order to keep the good ones in perspective. Begin at once to live, and count each separate day as a separate life. It's time you realize that you have something in you more powerful and miraculous than the things that affect you and make you dance like a puppet. Whatever can happen at any time can happen today. They lose the day in expectation of the night, and the night in fear of the dawn. There is no better way to grow as a person than to do something you hate every day. Today, I escaped anxiety. Or no, I discarded it, because it was within me, in my own perceptions, not outside. I have often wondered how it is that every man loves himself more than all the rest of men, but yet sets less value on his own opinion of himself than on the opinion of others. Consult your friend on all things, especially on those which respect yourself. His counsel may then be useful where your own self-love might impair your judgment. To love only what happens, what was destined. No greater harmony. But to recognize that if it's humanly possible, you can do it too. You don't love yourself enough. Or no great thing is you'd love your nature too, and what it demands of you. A fit body, a calm mind, a house full of love. These things cannot be bought, they must be earned. It never ceases to amaze me, we all love ourselves more than other people, but care more about their opinion than our own. People in love often become edgy, dangerous. They lose their sense of perspective. Think of the life you have lived until now as over and, as a dead man, see what's left as a bonus and live it according to nature. In your soul, don't be passive or aggressive. In your life, don't be all about business. Sometimes in life we must fight not only without fear, but also without hope. In life, it doesn't matter what happens to you or where you came from. It matters what you do with what happens and what you've been given. It can ruin your life only if it ruins your character. Otherwise, it cannot harm you, inside or out. Sometimes life hits you in the head with a brick. Don't lose faith. The ultimate power in life is to be completely self-reliant, completely yourself. The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Entrust everything willingly to the gods, and then make your way through life, no one's master and no one's slave. You will find no one willing to share out his money, but to how many does each of us divide up his life? Mastery of reading and writing requires a master. Still more so life. Your perspective on life comes from the cage you were held captive in. Life is very short and anxious for those who forget the past, neglect the present, and fear the future. It is more civilized to make fun of life than to bewail it. You could leave life right now. Let that determine what you do and say and think. Everything we hear is an opinion, not a fact. Everything we see is a perspective, not the truth. Maybe it's good to put things in perspective, but sometimes, I think that the only perspective is to really be there. 
between stimulus and response, there is a space. In that space is our power to choose our response. In a little while you will have forgotten everything, in a little while everything will have forgotten you. The tranquility that comes when you stop caring what they say. Or think, or do. Only what you do. As long as you live, keep learning how to live to err is human, but to persist, in the mistake, is diabolical.